Hi guys, welcome to the video and today I'm going to be talking about effort and relaxation and the right balance to it. And if, and if you're an athlete and you've just clicked on it, on this video, you're probably confused about these two elements yourself because they seem on one level to counteract each other. And if you look at it, the pundits and commentators, especially on athletics, they'll talk about an athlete that has worked hard, works hard during the race. And then they'll talk about an athlete who is relaxed during the race. And they, they paint these two relaxation and working hard as two virtues. And you're probably wondering, how, well, how do you balance each one out? What's right? And if they're both of them are right, what's the right balance? Well, the point is, on a, on a certain level, both, it's, it's, one influences the other. But on another level, they're two different things. So what you have to see, effort is more of a physical aspect, a physical action that we do. And relaxation is a mental state. So what you have to do is, instead of considering the balance of them, you're going to consider the, the layers. One is on top of the, the, the other layer. So we considered if you base, set a base and foundation of relaxation and then put effort on top of it, then you've got the right combination, as it were. Because you need to come from the fact that relaxation, you have to come from a base of relaxation. Your body is strong and robust against injury with a base of relaxation, coming from a base of relaxation. And then once from that base of relaxation has been set, you then put effort on top of it. And the effort that you put in will be easier, as it were. So I can remember from my races that um, whenever I can remember having a base of relaxation, um, unwittingly from whatever base I got it from, maybe it was my confidence in my race, the no knowledge that I was going to run well, maybe it was leading up to what I did leading up to the race in terms of what I ate or something like that, that actually energized me. But I had a base of relaxation. And then I remember going through the race and pumping in my arms just as quickly as I ever did. But the, I, did, I had a sense of base of relaxation and was using the effort in the right way. There was no tension. There was effort, but there was no tension. And that's what you want to get away from. The tension is, area, is an area that's going to limit you completely. And it's going to knock your body out of alignment. If you set the base of relaxation and put effort on top of it, that's, what, that's the right combination. And you'll be using all the effort, using the effort that you do use in the right way. Now, in terms of the deactivated sessions that I do, this is exactly what I bring about. I set the base of relaxation in an athlete from the start in my sessions. And from there, that gives them the springboard to actually perform well. So in terms of the, if you activate all the muscles that have switched off due to the stress of life and the pressures of life, muscles switch off and the body starts to implode on each other to protect itself. If you actually activate all the muscles together, that puts the body in the natural state to perform. And that's what I, uh, I do. I set the base of relaxation so the athlete can go and put the effort on top of it in the right way. So hopefully that video gives you a better understanding about the uh, effort the balance of effort and relaxation. One, on one level, it influences the other, but you've got to see it as more of layers that you, you use. Relaxation, effort on top of it. Now, if you if you're live near Taunton or live in Somerset, then book a session in with me. If you are interested in actually setting that base of relaxation uh, first before you go and train, set, let's book a session. Let's book, they're 60 minutes long, It'd be perfect way of actually getting you to perform well. It's what I was talking about is being in the flow and the right layered relaxation, then effort is being in the flow. And that's what you need to perform well. Thanks for watching. Um, if you can like the video, please like it. If you can share it, I would appreciate it and enjoy the weekend.